Hey everyone, David Wow here from another Eden Adventures. How are ya? Have you watched a YouTube guide on how to fight a boss and the YouTubers units do this insane amount of damage, but when you do it with the exact same units, you get absolutely destroyed? Well, this may be because the YouTuber has equipped their team with something called Graster. This video will explain to you what Graster is in plain English, as well as how to use, combine, and upgrade your Graster properly. Finally, I'll show you some of my favorite Grasters that will help you truly dominate in battle. If you're a veteran or a pro, or have a better way to do what I've discussed here, comment your own strategies below. I'm sure they'll help a lot of people out. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm loving all the support so far. We're on our way to 1,000 subs, baby. I'm doing a 50 Australian dollar giveaway competition that you can spend on another Eden once we reach the big 1K, so thank you very much. What is Grasta? Accessible after you finish chapter 48 of the main story, Grasters are basically items you can add to your units to make them perform better in fights. Before the latest updates, you had to go to a bunch of places to equip and upgrade Grasters, but now you can quickly access them from your main menu. At this point in time, there are five types of Grasters. Attack Graster, Life Graster, Support Graster, Special Graster, and VC Graster. If you're a newbie, don't let this confuse you, man. I would focus on Attack Grasters only for now, as I think you can get immeasurable benefits just by putting most of your efforts on getting it. When it comes to Attack, Life, and Support Graster, there are three tiers of Graster. With tier 1 or low tier Graster typically being the weaker and easier to get Grasters, and tier 3 or high tier Grasters normally being the more powerful or harder to find Grasters, which is why you'll see people often describe Grasters as T1, T2, or T3 Grasters online. When they do this, they're basically describing tier 1 weaker, T2 medium, or T3 stronger or rarer Grasters. With most units, you have three slots to add Grasters and one slot to add a VC Graster. The top and fifth Graster slot becomes unlocked if you collect over 200 light or shadow points. This means you potentially have five total slots to add Grasters to to make your characters incredibly powerful, but you can't just pick up Grasters from the ground and equip them. Grasters normally require a combination of items to activate. For example, attack grasters can require items such as frag of attacks, crystals of attacks, and jadeite of attacks to activate. I've linked a video that talks about some easy places to farm for these items, but for a quick tip, I like farming for these items in the future Garalea Continent Dungeon. To add to that, I often have kid in my team to use the steel skill. Once she does it, there's a chance she'll get one of these items. Are you confused yet? Is your mind drifting off? Don't worry, the good stuff is coming soon. Let's talk about Attack Graster, which is probably the easiest and most useful Graster to get into. So what does Attack Graster do? It makes your attacks stronger. The popular Power of Pain Graster, for example, increases your unit's power and it can give up to 50% damage to your attacks if your opponent is in pain. In other words, attack grass to make you strong strong and make bad guys go bye bye. Keep watching to find out which attack grasses to get and how to get them. Next we have life grasses. Life grasses, guess what? They improve your life. They do a bunch of stuff like improve HP or MP or reduce the MP cost of skills. Power of regen for example, grants its user continual health regeneration. Next we have support grasser. Support Grasters mainly do things that support your debuff and physical resistances and sometimes give you new skills or improve your attack. For example, the Banish Graster gives you the skill Banish, which removes all buffs and debuffs from all enemies and party members. Next we have Special Graster. Special Grasters are usable by units belonging to a certain group. For example, Enhanced Special Attack benefits the units in your party who are in the Cat Lover group. It also increases your Another Force finisher by 1100% man. At the time of releasing this video, there are only 3 Special Grasters available in the game. Last but not least, we have VC Grasters or Valor Chant Grasters. 
I spoke about them briefly in a previous video which I've linked below and I'm sure you'll love. But basically, VC grasters are grasters that are specific to a unit and helps improve their valor chance. Valor chance are those things that happen when you bring your unit from the reserves to the main team. A valor chance gives your unit or your unit and the rest of the team a bunch of bonuses. With VC Graster, you'll be able to further increase these bonuses. But VC Grasters don't stop there. They can also immediately improve your stats without you needing to go from the reserves. For example, May's VC Graster, Blacksmith Proof, has the potential to give her power plus 15 and intelligence plus 15. But before we start drooling, there's a catch. If you look at my maze blacksmith proof compared to what it says in the wiki, mine only says her grasser gives her plus five power and plus five intelligence. Why is that? Well, you need to unlock her true VC grasser first, which means you'll need to combine three of these normal VC grasters at the future Galilea continent cat shrine. Some VC grasters are relatively quick to obtain, but a lot of them take a whole lot of work. Again, I go over the process of how to get them in a previous video, which I've linked below. I do recommend checking it out. Now, let's talk about upgrading Graster. Firstly, why should you do this? Because upgrading your Grasters can make you much, much stronger. For example, my latest video talks about the Bullseye Ore, which gives you an extra 50% damage on top of what you already have with your existing Graster. So how do you upgrade your Graster? You upgrade your Grasters through ores, which you unlock after you finish chapter seven of the main story. To upgrade your Grasters, go to your main menu, tap on Graster, then tap on upgrade. From there, you have two options. The first option is the most clean cut. It allows you to use a dormant ore to give it a standard upgrade. In our example here, I can use one dormant ore to upgrade this Graster from giving 30% damage to 35% damage instead. But if you're a little bit more ambitious than that, you can choose from option number two to choose the pain enhance or, for example, to increase the damage by 50%. The challenge with the upgrades is that you need to do a bit of work to find them. I've attached a link in this video description that will tell you where you can find each of these ores. I'll also be doing videos about them, so do like and subscribe. Now that you know everything there is to know about Graster, what's the best Graster you can spend your time on getting? I'll provide a more comprehensive list in another video, but to start, I'd aim for the famous pain and poison based Grasters. You may have read a bunch of people online talk about pain and poison Grasters and wonder, why should I prioritize a Graster like Power of Venom, which can give 30% or more damage only if the opponent is poisoned compared to an elemental grasser like fire magic which can instantly give 30% fire damage without your opponent needing to be poisoned in the first place. Well, the main reason is stacking. So you know how I mentioned before that most units let you have three slots for graster? Let's say you have three fire graster and each one of these grasters give you plus 20% fire attack. Equipping three in a row lets you stack each one. So you get 20 plus 20 plus 20 damage, which equals 60% extra fire damage. That's great, right? But here's the difference. Where elemental grasses stack, power of pain and poison grasses multiply. So you'll be doing more damage overall. How does this work? Let's look at it in practice. You see, in this example, I equipped Kid with three fire grasters. He's the amount of damage he did with her steel attack. Then I equipped Kid with three pain grasters instead. Here's the damage he did with a steel attack. See the difference? If you look at the Another Eden wiki, there's a bunch of complex math that will explain this, but the bottom line is this. Pain and poison grasses can potentially do much more damage than elemental grasses. But rather than taking this at face value, you also have to think about a few other things like which zone your team is in or what buffs and items you have equipped because this rule may suddenly change depending on your situation. But as a general rule, pain and poison grasses can potentially do more damage. The only challenge is for it to work your opponent needs to be in pain or be poisoned. 
which is easy. There are a number of units who can do this, such as Tsukiha ES, Mistrara AS, Pizika, and the list goes on. Free units such as Seven, Garyu, and Surge have skills that can also do it. Here's how to get some of the best Pain and Poison Grasters at the moment. If you finish the story, I'd grind out Underworld's Dungeon to get Earth Calamity Graster from the present Spectre Boy, who will appear after a few run-throughs. Once you've gotten the Graster for your weapon, upgrade it using a Dormant Ore to get the 30% Pain Damage. I think this is the most predictable and controllable way to get multiple copies of one of the strongest Pain and Poison Grasters at this point in time. Next I'd aim for the power of Agony and power of Venom Grasters and there are different ways to obtain each one so I'll add a link to them below. And last you can hope to get power of pain or poison grasses randomly from the trader in Zami in the Antiquity Garalea Continent Dungeon or hope for them to appear after finishing any of the Garalea Continent run-throughs. This used to be one of the most popular ways of getting paint and poison grasses, but now it could be quite grindy and you really have to rely on luck. This being said, should you still aim for elemental grasses? I certainly think you need to. Elemental grasses are still useful if you're impatient like me and just want to fight enemies quick and easy without needing someone in your team to set paint or poison. You can currently find the most powerful wind, fire, water and earth grasses randomly from the Nagsham junk merchant in the present day Garalea dungeon. I've also personally had a lot of luck pulling them randomly while playing the future Garalea dungeons. You can purchase or receive thunder, shade and crystal grasses from the city of lost paradise dungeon. There you have it folks. If you are semi new to the game, there are so many types of grasters you can aim for in another Eden and it may be overwhelming. So what I do is I just focus on one thing first. So I'd focus on getting the attack grasters I mentioned in this video. And while you do it, a bunch of rewards will follow also. I may do a more detailed video about the top grasses to unlock in the future, but for now I hope you found this useful. Or if you have your own tips to add, please comment below and check out my video on maxing out your characters with light or shadow points which I'll link in the description I'm sure you'll love. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. This video took me close to a week of non-stop work to put together so I'm extremely grateful for your support. I absolutely love this community. We're close to 1k subs so thank you, love you and see you soon.